Hey, good morning to everybody. Happy Friday. It's sterile here. It's bright and freaking early, man. It's 3 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. It's actually 3.02, right on the dot. Okay, I came across this, I initially came across this story yesterday. It's about Baywatch and a certain star, Jeremy Jackson from Baywatch. And recently he was on Howard Stern. And he talked, he was, I believe he was like about 13 to 18 years old, or he played somebody that was that age on Baywatch. He played Dave, David Hasselhoff's son, uh, Hobie Buchanan. I thought, let's stop, let's stop right there for a second. Hobie, I thought about that, that name. Living in Connecticut, in New England, I have never heard, you know, I, I, I thought Hobie was like a, a boat or a, it's like a, sail, a, a sailboat or something a Hobie cat or something like that. I've never heard the name Hobie. That is the most California freaking name I've ever heard. All right, let's let's move on here. So he's this guy's on Howard Stern. I'll put I'll put a picture of him on my thumbnail. And he, I don't know, he's in his I don't know, probably in his early 40s right now, and he was on Howard Stern. And he fessed up to something that I, I saw this story yesterday for the first time. And I thought it just grossed me out. I was like, you know, I just I just kept paging through. I didn't even think about talking about it. Then I came across another story this morning about Nicole Eggert, and she was on Baywatch too. And she's changed. Uh, I'll just stop right there. I don't want to get women mad at me. Uh, she looks a little different now, which you know I'm sure we all do. Uh, and she said she commented about his. Well, let me start at the very beginning. So, Jeremy Jackson was on. He was a star. Well, he was a young guy, a star of Baywatch. Uh, one of the stars of Baywatch. He played David, David Hasselhoff's son. Uh, Hobie Buchanan, and uh, he left it when he was 18 years old due to some drug addictions. I guess he was, uh, David Hasselhoff thought he was using marijuana, but uh, it was something far stronger. And you can read the links down below. I don't want to, uh, I don't want to have problems with my monetization, so I'm not going to say what he was using. Okay, so he's on Howard Stern, and he fesses up. He, he talks about when he was a teen boy on the set of this show. And there's all those red bathing suits from Baywatch, right? You know, I, I, I happened to be flipping through the channels yesterday and Baywatch was on. And I, I took a look at, the, I, I, when I saw the suits yesterday, I just thought those suits are so freaking ridiculous. You know, the way they come up to like here, the, I guess they call it a French cut. Is that, is that the, the name for it? You know, and I was just like, oh my God, they look so uncomfortable for those women, man. You know, they're like pulled right up the... You know, right up the alley there. And I just thought they looked so ridiculous when I saw this yesterday. But anyway, okay, so he's on Howard Stern, Jeremy Jackson, and he talks about sniffing the bathing suits. Like as he's, you know, back set, backstage, and the women have changed out of their, their bathing suits and gotten to their street clothes or whatever, and how he went around sniffing the private areas of the bathing suits. All right, so I saw this yesterday. I saw this this uh, article yesterday, and it, honestly, it just grossed me right the f out, man. You know, and I just kept paging through it. I didn't even think about talking about it. This morning, I'm going through TMZ again to find a story to talk to you guys about, and I come across Nicole Eggert, and this link will be right down below, so you can read everything I'm talking about. And she's she's saying that she doesn't think it's all that bad. She says, look, teen guys are crazy horny and they do crazy things. And I'm sure it's not the craziest thing anybody ever did. And, you know, you do what you got to do when you're a teen boy. And I thought about that. And she, she is a, she's 100% right. Even though I still think this is so nasty, man. <laughs> you know, going around sniffing strange person's uh, clothing as a teen. And I, I thought back. So I thought, this is, this is how I usually do stories here on my, my YouTube channel. You know, if I, all of a sudden something clicks, you know, that I can relate to, that I experienced, I'll talk about it. You know, so this morning when I saw the Nicole Eggert, you know, saying, ah, it's not that bad. I was like, did I ever do anything like that? Did I ever sniff anything? You know, and I remember thinking about, you know, bicycle seats or, and no, 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 I can't say I ever did, man. But I remember something especially embarrassing that I did. And I'm going to talk about that before I get into that in one second. As I was looking at these articles this morning, I don't have kids. And now that I'm, I've am i been cleaning sober for 18 years, coming up in 18 years, and I'm going to be 59 years old. And it's like I, I'm kind of uh, emotionally stunted, really. They talk about that in recovery. 
And I'm kind of just starting to feel like, like I wish I had kids, you know, but it's, I'm, I'm about 30 years late because I lost all those years in addiction, you know, and I thought about this story this morning and I actually was like, thank God I don't have a teen boy. You know, if I had like a, if I had a girl, I, I just would be such a protector. You know, I'd be such a, a wicked father. You know, I, I would just, I just, when I see like little girls, you know, now I'm just, my heart just freaking melts. You know, it's like, oh my God, they're, they're, they're angels, you know, and, uh, you know, I don't know if it's a grandpa phase or a, a belated father phase I'm going through or what. Okay, so I thought about this, you know, I was like, thank God I don't have a teen boy. And I thought back to when I was a teen boy and I thought about, let me talk about this really quick. I got to warn you, this is a little, this is a little intimate, a little personal. I thought about me and my friends and we would, uh, you know, we pleasure ourselves. We take care of business. And I remember one of my friends coming back to school on a Monday and he said, you know, he bragged about how he had taken care of business and he said he did it three times in one day, you know, and it became a challenge to the rest of us. You know, there was like four of us good friends or four of us. And so the rest of us, you know, and I remember hitting seven times in one weekend. So we were all trying to beat his record, get it beat, <laughs> beat his record. And uh, yeah, I hit seven times. I abused myself terribly back when I was a teen boy. And I thought about this this morning. You know, now at my age, of course, I still take care of business. You know, I, I get these urges, you know, but I do it in the shower. And there's one other way that I'm, extre I'm extremely neat about this. I, ha I have this, I have a, let's just say, uh, I I've got a system where nothing gets splattered anywhere. You know, it's, it's very, a very clean and tidy system where I, it's very little cleanup and it's nice and neat and sanitized very quickly. And I'll, I'll just stop right there because I don't want to tell you guys the rest of it. Uh, okay, so team boys. So thinking back to when I was a teen, I was about 13 or 14 years old. And I remember being that age. And I can't, if you're not, if you're a woman, you might not, I don't know if you, you can relate to this, but when you're that age, I mean, you are thinking about sex just every freaking second. And I mean, you just want it so badly. You know, you want, you know, any part, you know, when I, when I think back to being that age, I could completely understand why he, he would do this with a bathing suit. You know, I mean, anything that even touched a woman, anything that even came close to the parts, you know, it, it, we, it was just, it was crazy sex drive at that age. And um, I hope I can say this, and I hope my monetization doesn't get, 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 uh, get taken away for this video. Okay, so I was about that age. And there was a woman that worked at a little horse farm. There was a little horse, a barn, where the horses were kept. And she worked there. Her name was Melanie. I still remember her name. This was, uh, geez, this was 45 years ago. 45 years, man, right? So back in, I'd say about 82, 81, about 81. And I, I had a crush on her. She, she had long, dark hair. She was curvy. I have always loved curvy, full-figured women, you know. And uh, I had a crush on her. And she actually, the horse barn was on about a half mile on one side of my house. And she lived up behind the woods on the other side of my house. About, I'd say about 500, 800 feet up, a, uh, up the, in the woods behind my house. So I could almost, I could see her house from my bedroom window, which I think plays into this whole what happened here, you know, and I probably was in my bedroom one night or one afternoon and my, you know, my, my sister and my mom were out and, uh, I, my, my evil horny little mind was thinking about things and I probably saw the house up on the hill and I thought about calling her, you know, now, now imagine this, I, I'm 14 and she's got to be about 25 or between 25 and 30, about, probably about 25, you know, I was a brave lad, man, so I thought about calling her, you know, come on down, my mom's not home, you know, let's mess around, you know, I'm, I'm a 13-year-old boy, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, what's it called, when you, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit on a, you know, 25-year-old woman, and I called her up, I actually called her up, and I, I, I sped through it quick, and I said, hey, I'm, I'm home all alone, I, I'm home all alone, Hey, why don't you come by? I, I forgot the exact words, you know, but you know, come on by, we could have some fun or something like that. And I hung up. All right. You know, and then of course, 
you know, when you're at that age, then you, you know, you take care of business and the urge goes away for a little while, which, it, which it did. And I was so freaking embarrassed after this, you know, after you know, a little, a little while later, you know, and I, I, I feared seeing this, this, I saw around, around the neighborhood every day. And I feared, I was like, oh my God, what, how am I going to explain this, you know? And sure enough, I see her at the corner store and she's like, Daryl, come here, I got to talk to you. And so I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. So I come up with this story and she takes me outside. She says, Daryl, you, you, know, you called up, you know, what was that all about? And I said, I said, oh, it was, it was a deer. My friends dared me to, you know, I, I was, I stand there all shaken and scared. Like I was going to go to jail or something, you know? And I'm like, I'm sorry. You know, my friends, my friends, uh, my friends dared me to do it. And she's like, no problem, no problem. But you know, just come to me if if if, if your friends tell if your friends tell you to do this, and you know, just just talk to me about it, you know, instead of calling me up like that, you know. And I was just I was just reprimanded as a little teen boy, and it was embarrassing. It was, and I still remember this. This is one of, probably one of the most embarrassing things I remember doing. I don't remember sniffing anybody's. I do not remember sniffing anything of anybody's ever when I was that age. Thank God. Uh, I did some messed up stuff. I did a lot of other messed up stuff in, in, my, in the privacy of my own bedroom. But uh, yeah, that wasn't one of them. So anyway, like I said, the links will be down below. Hey, my next video, I thought about this. It's been one week since I had the fall on the bike and I want to update you guys. I was actually working out and I felt something snap in my rib cage and I've had a lot more pain and the road burns are healing. So I want to talk about that in my next video. I'm going to do a quick video update because that that video got like three or four hundred views so i'm going to do a little quick update on the wipeout on my bike exactly one week ago that video all right that's coming up have a good friday i'll see you soon